What is up guys, I'm Chilius and today I'll be teaching you this super cool handwritten write-on text effect in Adobe After Effects 2022. And just before we get started, I thought it was quite funny to mention that I actually made a tutorial back in 2019 for this in Premiere Pro. But for whatever reason, it is actually not that possible in Premiere anymore. So I thought I would create an updated version for After Effects. But anyways, let's get started. So first thing you want to do is create a new composition. Let's make that 1920 by 1080. 30 frames and let's make it 12 seconds long. And just hit OK like so. Next up, you want to type in your title. You can do that by just pressing Ctrl T or clicking up here click on your composition and I'm going to type in handwritten just for this example. Let's drag it to the middle so we can see. And I'm going to change the font to something that looks somewhat handwritten. I'm going to be using a font called Gloss and Bloom. I like that. Let's maybe make it so it is large letters. Very nice. I like that. And let's maybe just bring it a little bit closer together, the spacing, something like that. And then go into align and just center the text if that is what you want. And now we can get started on the text animation. So you want to go into your effects and presets, generate, and then there's this effect called write on, and you just want to apply that to your title layer, like so. And now, as you can see, we have this dot generated. It's maybe a little bit hard to see, so I'm going to change the color to green so you can easily see. And it is very small. So we will scale it up. First thing, we want to change the brush size to approximately the width of our like strokes and our letters. So something like that. And then let's change the brush hardness to 100. And let's change the brush spacing to 0 0.001. I think that would be fine. And next up, you want to move this to where your text starts. So I'm just going to drag it over here because I want it to start here. And maybe let's Make the brush a little bit bigger to 15 maybe. Yeah, that should be fine. And basically you just want to go to the start of your title. So it's zero, zero in my case. And you want to enable keyframes on brush position. And you just got, want to go like one frame forward, like so. And you want to move it so it covers the letter. And just do this for the entirety of the word. It doesn't have to be super precise here. You can always go back and fix it later on. Just think about how you would write this in the hand. That will give it that much more of a realistic look. Okay, and we're all done. And there are a few spots that I missed, as you can see. And you could go back and fix it like here. Maybe I missed some. And also like here. And you could go back and fix this. But I will fix this like in a sloppy way just by changing the stroke width maybe a little bit. Something like that. So now we are going to have this effect. But this is not really what we want, right? We want the text to tap out. But as a really quick fix, you go into paint style and you just click reveal original image. Take a look. Very cool. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe and take care guys. Bye bye.